Vicky. I'm Linus, and on today's episode of One Minute or Less, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the third generation serial ATA interface, also known as SATA 3. SATA 3 is not technically the correct name for a third generation SATA drive. This can cause some confusion, especially because the second generation interface operated at 3 gigabit per second. So does SATA 3 refer to the data rate or the generation? Most people think of it in terms of the generation, so if you use it that way, people will generally know what you're talking about. Determining if your storage device supports SATA 3 is easy. All you gotta do is check for a large SATA 3 label on the box, check the manufacturer's website, or in the cases of things like motherboards, you can look for the little label on the PCB itself. Finally, if you're having trouble with that, or if you have a laptop where you can't see it clearly, you can download HWinfo32 for free and find out what speed your SATA ports are running at. Installing SATA 3 devices is simple. All you gotta do is power down your computer, plug the power and the serial ATA data cable into the drive and the PC itself, and you're ready to go. You don't even need to worry too much about what generation of SATA device you have, because if they're not all SATA 3, it might be a little bit slower, but the standards are forwards and backwards compatible, so the devices will work together. Thanks for checking out this episode of One Minute or Less. We'd love for you to share these videos with anyone you can think of who would benefit from the information, including embedding it in your website. Don't forget to subscribe to Tech Quickie for more videos like this. And please like the video by clicking the little button below. It helps us out a lot. Last but not least, you can use the forum link in the video description to submit any ideas that you have for upcoming One Minute or Less episodes.